Okay, so let's move on with some more guitar instruction for uh, working with jazz. Now one of the first things that you need to really know as you're playing jazz is you have to know all of the names of notes on your fretboard. And um, I know a lot of guitar players uh, learn some names of notes, especially as you're learning power chords and different things like that. But let's just talk a little bit about the importance of knowing the names of notes and then also the um, how to sort of figure them all out just to fill in maybe a few gaps in, in um, some of your understanding of the way this works. The first thing in terms of naming notes is understanding how a piano keyboard is set up in terms of the note names. If you've ever looked at a piano keyboard, you know that um, there is a black key between some of the white keys, but not all of the white keys. And this is the same concept on a guitar fretboard. What you need to know is that there is um, a, a space or, a, or two half steps between all of the letter names of the fretboard except between the notes B and C as well as between the notes E and F. There is only one half step between B and C and E and F. Let me show you on the guitar fretboard how that works. Um, and one other little piece of terminology that I think is, that is important. From here on out, we're always going to refer to our strings by a number. The lowest string, E, we're going to call it the sixth string. The next string, the A, we're going to call that the fifth string. The next string, D, we'll call that the fourth string. G string, will be the third, the B string will be the second string, and the top string, the E string, will be the first string. Now we're going to start for most of these exercises on the sixth string, on the E. So let's name the notes on the fretboard going all the way from E up to the first octave. We're going to go an octave up from E to E. Now, I mentioned to you that the first fret from E to F is one of those intervals that there's not an extra key in between the notes. So it's one fret from E to F. But from F to G is two frets. And you'll notice the extra marking is on the G that's, that can be really helpful on the third fret. So here's F, first fret, then G is the third fret. From G to A is two frets. From A to B is two frets. From B to C is one fret. As I mentioned, from C to D is two frets and from D to E is two frets. So that kind of gets us all of our note names on the sixth string, the E string. Let's look at the fifth string, the A string. From A to B is two frets, one, two. So here's our B. From B to C, as I mentioned, is only one fret. From C to D, two frets. From D to E, two frets. From E to F, as I mentioned, is only one. F to G. And then we make it on up to our octave, G to A. Now that we've done two strings, I want you to think about that again. The space between E and F is just a half step, one fret, and the space between B and C is one space, a half step. For all other intervals between all other letter names, it's two half steps or two frets. We also call that a whole step, okay? So if you remember that, you're in great shape. Now, I want you on your own to go ahead and through all six strings, I want you to name the, the letter names moving up through and really try to memorize them so that if you just 
grab the guitar at any particular point that you would be able to name the note where you're playing it. That becomes very important, especially in jazz, because we need to know the names of notes on all the way up to the first octave and all the way through all six strings. So take some time to do that, work through it, and your first assignment is going to be naming those notes. Practice that. Good luck.